Open Simulink. Create blank model. Click on Library Browser. In Library go to UAV Toolbox, Algorithms and select Guidance Model. In Library Search, search for Bus Creator and drag it on the workspace two times. Double-click on one of the bus creator and enter for. Double-click on the second bus creator and enter 1. Connect the output of the bus creator to the control. Connect the output of the bus creator 2 to the environment. In Library Search, search for ramp and drag it into the workspace. In Library Search, search for constant and drag it for 4 times. Connect all the ramp and constant signals with the respective bus creator input signals. Double click on ramp and enter the slope value 3. Double click on bus creaster and enter 3 in number of inputs. Right click on signal 1 of ramp and select properties and enter signal name as roll. Right click on signal 2 of constant and select properties and enter signal name as pitch. Right click on signal 3 of constant and select properties and enter signal name as your rate. Right click on signal 4 of constant and select properties and enter signal name as thrust. Right click on signal 5 of constant and select properties and enter signal name as gravity. Double-click on gravity constant and change the value as 9.81. Now double-click on bus creator 1 and select output data type as multi-order guidance control bus by checking all boxes. Next double click on bus creator 2 and select output data type as multi rotor guidance environment bus by checking all boxes. Go to search box in the library browser, search for bus selector and drag it on the workspace.
Now connect the bus selector with output state variable. Double click on the bus selector and select world position and Euler's EYX and replace the old signal's output. Double click on the workspace and type UAV and select UAV animation box. After then connect the world position with the translation animation box. Next search for Yover ZYX in the library browser and drag it on the workspace. Double click on the coordinate transformation conversion and change the input representation as Euler angles and output representation as quaternion. After then connect the output of the bus selector with the coordinate conversion input and coordinate conversion output to the rotational system of WAV animation box. Next save the file in predefined path in any compact drive. Then search for slider and drag it to the workspace. Double click on slider and select the third constant box in the first bus creator input and set the range of the slider to 20 maximum and rename it as thrust. The slider is used for throttle. Then run the simulation. The UAV animation toolbox opens and the multi-order conceptual model is take off from the ground and it rolls, pitches and yaws in different directions are noted. Thus you can increase and decrease the throttle, and you can verify the UAV animation chart for simulating the trajectory of UAV.
That is all about multi-order low fidelity model and simulation is done for each time steps of calculation.